Okay, uh, folk, I've asked about the jig rhythm that I play on Sweet Science and my song George, which is in George it goes. <laughs> Yes, it's that kind of fast jig rhythm. Um, so it's in 6 8, um, and there's, it's based around two different patterns. So the first pattern would be the normal one, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you want beats 1 and 4 of the 6 to be the strong beats. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so that's uh, the normal rhythm. Uh, and then the jig rhythm is different because to get beat four harder, louder, um, it's going to be a downstroke as well. So we're going to go down, up, down, down, up, down. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now. Um, how do you get them faster and how do you change between them? Because it's when you change between them um, that you get, uh, that's where you get like the kind of triplety stuff. So you probably heard I had things like. Like I have no idea how I do those triplet things and everybody I've asked about it can't tell me either. There probably is, a, there probably is, I don't know, I don't know how to do it. All I know is that you once you start doing this, suddenly it just happens. It's like, oh, I'm doing it. Right, so uh, I'm going to set this to 60 beats per minute, uh, like a clock. Uh, this is a metronome. Uh, you can get download them mega cheap on your phone. Um, so just, do, just get one of them, then you can have it in your ears. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Da, ga, da, da, ga, da. Right. So, if you can't say it out loud, you can't play along with it. So first of all, check that you can go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Give me all your money. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, so. Now it's quite, if you're not used to playing along, along with the metronome, it could be really difficult this. So to make it a wee bit easier, go one, two, 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 two. So what I do is I go one, two, two, two. Da 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 one two two two. All right. So I'm I'm uh, basically um, an extend by two bars every time. So I go one two two two, and then I play one bar of six eight. Then I go one two 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 bars of six eight, and so on four bars. Of six eight, but always coming back to that dong, dong. And if I feel myself drift, back to that. Do it sixty beats per minute, and it's like a computer game. Once you've got to like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> once you've got to like a hundred and twenty eight bars, you're probably fine to move up speed. Probably by the time you've got to like forty eight bars, you'll have, you'll have got it. Then go up a level. You go up a level by making the metronome go. A little bit faster so um, let's take it up to 72 same thing so here we go yeah okay here we go one two I went out of time in the metronome there, you probably heard that. But because you go back to that single beat, it drags you back to the metronome. So not only are you getting good at playing this rhythm, 
you're also getting good at playing with a metronome and it's a bit more interesting way to learn to play with a click uh, which is dead useful when you're in the studio I'm just going to go back to 60 and I'm going to show you like the second game so basically what you want to do is get that up to and I'm fairly sure that at one point um, oh, I was at like 144 beats per minute um, in the pub I'm sure there were times when we were pushing yeah 144 138 144 beats per minute like would not be unusual for people to play at that speed so that's kind of where you you want to be getting to and actually you want to be getting faster than that so that that becomes a comfortable tempo for you but get there slowly go through every single step on the metronome to get there right so that was kind of like the first game the second metronome game uh, would be we'll go back to 60 beats per minute so we'll start the same way but we're going to switch between patterns so the pattern I've been doing there is a pattern that I call the jig rhythm and we're going to switch between jig rhythm and what I was calling normal rhythm okay so here we go one two 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 da -ga -da -da -ga -da -da -ga -da 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 So that's a really good exercise and what you can do is you can kind of mix those ones up together so you could do like different bars uh, of, uh, you know, you could do like just going back to the single hits like that when you drift out, when you drift out of sync um, and maybe doing two bars of jig, two bars of normal, four bars of jigs, four bars of normal or going like jig normal jig normal jig normal jig normal and extending that way so there's lots of different ways to kind of keep it interesting i also had an egg timer um which is set to 10 minutes and i only practiced for 10 minutes at a time and then i had to put the guitar back in its case and i think that made a huge difference because it meant that i wasn't getting bored of the thing but it was still there uh you know i had to, so i was maybe like two or three times a day i would come back in and just have another go at it and i think leaving that little bit of space between practices and having just really short like 10 minutes this is what I'm going to do um, last time I got to 120 beats per minute I'm going to now do the second exercise but I'm going to do it get from 120 to 130 and set myself that 10 minutes and if I couldn't do it then I would go back to um, I'd go back to 90 and start from 90 and go back up to 120 so I would always go back because the thing is if you haven't learned to do it if you can't play it slowly there is no way that you will be able to play it quickly. Simple. Um, and the only other thing that might help, I do it with quite a heavy plectrum now. I use these great big Wagen, Wagen, Wagen picks. Um, and at the moment I'm using this to show you this green one because I thought it might be easier for you to see than the white one. But a mega thin pick like, um, like a Jim Dunlop 73 would be like, the heaviest I would go and then gradually get you make your picks heavier so you should be able that's like a one millimeter lump brick you know um, and weirdly it's it's a wee bit harder to do those kind of triple A things but your collection will make a difference so get yourself a lighter pick um, and that's all any questions stick it in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them um, but yeah, all you need, metronome, light plectrum and 10 minutes a day. Good luck.